Hello friends, in the last video we learned that polynomials are algebraic expressions with variables having non-negative integer exponents. For example, x square plus 1 is a polynomial because the exponent of x is plus 2. But x square plus 1 by x is not because for the term 1 by x, which is same as x to the power minus 1, x has a negative exponent that is minus 1. Hence, x square plus 1 by x is not a polynomial. Just like algebraic expression, polynomials also have degree. Let's take a polynomial 3x to the power 7 minus 4x to the power 6 plus x plus 9. What is the degree of this polynomial? We call the highest exponent of the variable in a polynomial as the degree of the polynomial. So, the degree of this polynomial is 7 as the highest power of x is 7. What is the degree of x to the power 5 minus x to the power 4 plus 3? Look for the biggest exponent. It is 5. So, the degree of this polynomial is 5. Now, can polynomials have negative or fraction as degree? No. Polynomials cannot have fraction or negative exponent for any variable. Hence, their degree cannot be negative or fraction. Can polynomial have 0 as a degree? Yes, it can. What is x to the power 0? Let's understand it. If we divide 5 square by 5 square, we get 1 as we are dividing by same number. But in this case, the exponent becomes 0 as during the division, we subtract the exponent 2 minus 2, which makes it 0. 5 to the power 0, which is equal to 1. Same way for any rational number a to the power 0, its value is 1. Say we are given just 5. We can write 5 as 5 into 1, which is equal to 5 into x to the power 0. And this makes it a polynomial of degree 0. So, any number can be written in this form. When we say degree of a polynomial is 0, it means its highest exponent is 0. And it is a non-negative integer. So, it has a constant value as x to the power 0 is also constant. That is 1. So, it is a constant polynomial. So, basically we can say any non-zero number is a constant polynomial any non-zero number will have a degree 0. But what if the constant number is 0 itself? Then it is called 0 polynomial. Now the fun part is 0 is a constant polynomial but its degree is undefined because you can literally multiply a variable with any value in the exponent like 0 into x to the power 1024 is also 0. Should we say its degree is 1024? Or 0 can be represented as 0 into x to the power 50, which is also equal to 0. Should we say its degree is now 50? So there is no fixed degree for constant 0. So degree of 0 polynomial is undefined. Whereas degree of all the other non-zero constant polynomial like minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 or 1, 2, 3 and so on is 0. Generally in real life examples we often find polynomials in which exponent of variables in the polynomial are not in such a perfect continuous order. For example x to the power 5 minus x to the power 4 plus 3 here x cube plus x square plus x term is missing. We can ex assume that coefficient of those terms is 0. Hence those terms have become 0. 0 multiplied by anything is 0. Polynomials are also named based on its degree. Like if the degree of a polynomial is 1, it is linear polynomial like x plus 1. If the degree is 2, that is called a quadratic polynomial like x square plus 1. We call polynomial of degree 3 a cubic polynomial like x cube 
plus x square plus 1. To put it in a generic way, a polynomial px of degree n is written as a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus and so on till a 1 x plus a 0 where a 0 a 1 a 2 till a n are constant coefficients the highest ex exponent of x is n so the degree is n that's all in this video bye bye